All right, you guys, um, you might notice the uh, scenery a little different. Oh, oh, don't be a dick. Um, I'm back in my dorm. I'm back. I finally was able to get out of prison, out of isolation. Um, feels good to be back. I got, I, I slept in today. Slept in way too long. Missed the first part of my class and then missed the rest of my class because I had two missed calls from the place, like from the people who picked me up. And they, there was someone outside my door knocking, but I wasn't ready yet. So I told them like, I was like, I'll be there in a sec. Cause I needed to get dressed cause I had just woken up. But um, he just all of a sudden left. And then, so I called them because I saw their text that said like the move out times for today were 1030 and 1145. And right now it's like a little after one, I think. Maybe like after 1.30, but it is right now 1.37. So yeah, I'm covering the camera. Yeah, it's 1.37 right now. I'm just gonna do a one take here. This will be the last video. Um, and I was able to call them and he was like, yeah, we'll be there in 10 minutes, that okay? So I had to pack everything up in 10 minutes. I packed everything up, got it all set up again already. Computer, my whole setup there. Haven't undone the suitcase yet, it's still there. The drawing still isn't finished, I never got to that, but we'll soon. Uh, came back to a package, and it was either gonna be a textbook or from my mom, and I was like, oh shoot, this kinda look textbook size, you know, it's kinda rectangular. But then I saw that writing right there. That's my mom's handwriting, so I was like, okay, cool. Cause she sent a little care package and she found out I was sick. So I'll show you guys some of the stuff I got. I got some some tea, some black tea, some mango tea, as it says on the bag. Um, some soup, I think. Yeah, soup. Some emergency, which I love this stuff when I'm sick. Oh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, that's good, really good. Uh, some honey, cute little bear. Um, some cough drops, always good. They're up in there somewhere. Um, and then I got some of the snacks that we brought home from Hawaii. So these, like, they're like chocolate churro, like chips kind of, but they're like sweet, you know, very good. Then there's these macadamia nut shortbread cookies, also very good. And then probably the most expensive brownie I've ever had. We had a whole box of those, very good. Got one of those definitely boost the spirits it's nice to like it's one thing to have like a care package you know when you get back or like like when you're sick and it's like you know it's nice it helps you get through it it's like and it helps you get better but like when you can come back and then be like yeah like now i'm better and then now i get to like actually enjoy all these things and then also have the sick stuff for like when i'm sick next time i also got a mug for the tea but yeah I mean, that's pretty much it i'm moved i'm moved back in um I need to go get my textbook still because those never came. I'm going to get lunch soon because as soon as, while I was packing, lunch got delivered. And then when they got there, they're like, it looks like your lunch is here. And I was like, I don't, I don't need it. I'm moving. I'm going back home and I'll just eat when I get back. So I'm going to go get food. Um, that's going to be it for this series. Uh, five days, five full days, and then a little bit of today, but I was asleep for most of it. So we'll call this, this will be day six going home no more isolation um yeah thank you guys uh thank you guys for following along with the journey it was definitely an experience if if you are at western i don't advise getting covid because isolation is not fun if you are anywhere i don't advise getting covid because it's not probably not a good thing to get covid probably not but uh but yeah um now i just gotta wear this thing when i'm around people for the next five days so but match it is heritage, you know what I'm saying? Alright. See you guys later. Peace.